stuff together, I want to call your attention to two terms that we've already learned, linear equation and system of linear equations. So a linear equation is just an equation between two variables that gives a straight line when graphed. So over here we have 3x plus 5y equals 6. This is an example of just a linear equation because we have two variables, x and y, and if we put this in slope-intercept form, we would be able to graph it, and it would turn out to be just a straight line. A system of linear equations is just a collection of more than one linear equations with the same variables. So over here, we have a system of linear equations because we have two of them, and they have the same variables. So today we're going to be learning how to solve a system of linear equations. So you guys know to eliminate means to just get rid of something. So to solve linear equations, we can use the elimination method. I have the steps written up here for you guys to copy into your notebook, but I'm just going to dive right into the example and rely on these steps to carry me through. So our first example, 2x minus 3y equals negative 10 and 4x plus 5y equals 2. Our first step is to choose a variable to eliminate. For this first example, I'm going to choose x. So now, we want to make the chosen variables have equal but opposite coefficients. So I want this 2x to become a negative 4x. So all I would have to do for that is multiply this entire equation by negative 2 because that would give us negative 4x plus 6y equals 20. Okay, so now we go on to number 3, add the system. So I'm going to bring this equation over here. And negative 4x plus 4x gets rid of the x entirely. It says, if done correctly, our chosen variable will be gone. So we did exactly what we wanted to do. So now we just have to add the y's for 11y. 20 plus 2, 22. So now we solve for our leftover variable, which is y. Divide by 11. And we get our y equal to 2. So now, step 5. We want to plug our one variable into our original equation to find the variable we got rid of, x. So we can choose either one of these equations. I'm just going to choose the first one. So we have 2x because x is what we're finding for. Plug our 2 into y. So now we have 2x minus 6 equals negative 10. We add our 6. Equal but opposite coefficients. 
So I want this 3y to become a negative 6y. So to do that, I'm going to multiply this whole equation by negative 2. So now we have 3x plus 6y equals 0. And now we have negative 4x minus 6y equals negative 10. So now we can add them together. 3 minus 4, negative x. And then we have 6y plus negative 6y to get rid of the y entirely. We want it eliminated. 0 plus negative 10, negative 10. Next, solve for x. Okay, so now that we have x, we can solve for our leftover variable by just plugging it into an original equation. choose the first one. 3 times 10 plus 6y equals 0. Thirty plus 6y equals 0. Bring the 30 over. 6y equals negative 30. Divide by 6. And we get y equals negative 5. So now we have the point 10, negative 5. Last step is to check our work. Let's plug into the second equation this time. 2x, 2 times 10, plus 3y, 3 times negative 5, should give us 5. 20 minus 15 equals 5. So our point is correct. The next method we're going to be learning is the substitution method. We know to substitute means to let something take the place of something else. So our steps are written up here for you to copy into your notebook. And our first example is x plus y equals 5 and 3x plus y equals 11. Our first step is to choose a variable to substitute and I'm going to choose x. Isolate chosen variable and make sure the coefficient is, is 1. So I want x to be all by itself in this first equation. So to get that to happen, all I have to do is subtract this y. So it becomes x equals 5 minus y. And when I say make sure the coefficient is 1, all that means is to ensure that it's just x by itself. If it was 3x, we would have to divide the whole thing by 3. So now, substitute our new equation, which is x equals 5 minus y, into our original equation. So when I see x, I'm going to put 5 minus y and carry on with what's left. So now I'm going to distribute to get 15 minus 3y plus y equals 11. Going to combine our like terms, negative 3y plus y gives us this negative 2y. Bring the 15 over. Negative 2y equals negative 4. When we solve, we have y equal 2. So now we already did step 4. We solved for y. Now we want to plug in our found variable into an original equation so we can find the variable that we substitute, in this case x. So I'm going to choose number equation 1 because it's easier. So we have x. We don't know. That's what we're looking for. Our y is 2. So that just gives us our x is equal to 3. So our point for this one is 3, 2. Now, as always, I put check, but we pretty much already did because x plus y equals 5. Our x as 3, our y as 2 gives us 5. So we got the right answer. Now I want to show you guys what this point that we're finding represents. So to do that, I am going to graph both of these equations. 
And does anyone know what form our equations need to be in so we can graph them? It's going to be slope intercept form. Which we know is just y equals mx plus b m slope b y intercept. So we want this to have y by itself. So to do that, all we did is subtract the x. So we have negative x plus 5, and that looks like this. So for this one, we need y by itself. So to do that, we subtract our negative 3x. So negative 3x plus 11. So now both of them are in our slope intercept form. Now let's graph the two equations. I'm going to start with this one, start with the y intercept, which is 5 which is just 0, 5. So now we see that our slope is negative 1. So that means we have to go down 1 and over 1. Down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1. That's good. Okay. So our next equation. Our y-intercept is 11. So we have to start 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 0, 11 is our y-intercept. And our slope is negative 3, so we have to go down 3. 1, 2, 3, over 1. Down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. Down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1, which will give us this point right here. So both of our graphs hit this point. And what is this point? 3, 2. The answer we got. So what we're solving for is where our two equations meet on a graph. And that's it. So I'm going to give you guys a worksheet. And on one side, it'll be working with elimination method. And the other side, it will be substitution method. I'm going to break you guys down into groups. And we will go over it probably tomorrow.